A striking landscape. Tajikistan, the least developed of the former Soviet republics. It's 90% mountainous. But in these mountains lies the key to powering the country's economy. This is ideal geography for generating the hydroelectric power on which Tajikistan depends. As here, in the north of the country, and the Karakum Dam. It was built in 1956, then the largest of its kind in Central Asia, with a life expectancy for the mechanical equipment of just 30 years. As Faisal Avezov, the director, points out, nearly 60 years have elapsed now. This is by far the EBRD's largest and most complex project in Tajikistan. It's worth more than 75 million dollars a third of that are donor funds. And it's here where much of that money will be spent, rehabilitating two of the six turbines. Ismon is the duty engineer. Half a million people in the immediate region depend on Karakum for their energy supply. But it's not just households that depend. Businesses say power problems are the main obstacle to private investment. Power cuts are said to result in annual losses to the economy of more than $200 million. This small dairy concern manufactures cheese and yogurts. A steady supply of electricity is critical to the business. A business which Nikolai has plans to expand if he can. Зимний период сложный вопрос для производства. А здесь у нас пока света здесь как линия чистая линия, как считается. У нас свет был. Ну бывают перебои. У нас когда перебои бывают, мы подключаем у нас там и не под генератор, под генераторами используемся. Ну а так зимний период тяжеловато. Да, ну молоко же в холодильнике должны работать, пастеризация там, кондиционеры. Производство мешает очень. Karakum matters to Tajikistan's neighbors too, for irrigation and flood protection. So the rehabilitation work will protect the current flow downstream. And just as importantly, there's climate change. Tajikistan is the most vulnerable of the countries where the EBRD works. The project includes an analysis of climate change impact on glacial melting and river flows to ensure the plant remains productive and safe. The big picture is that little more than half of Tajikistan's installed capacity is actually available to produce electricity. So rehabilitating Karakum is only a first step, but it's one that helps the region's poorest country grow, even as it faces the challenges of a changing climate. <laughs>